New at 6, Superintendent Ryan Walters promising to take action over what he's calling an attack on religious freedom. I'm Abigail Ogle. Hello everyone, I'm Jessica Shambach. Now he was surrounded by supporters and opponents at a news conference in Tulsa late today. KOCO's Andy Weber joining us live on this. Andy, this all has to do with prayer during graduation. Yeah, that's right, Abby. Ryan Walters is claiming that the Tulsa Public School Board is trying to shut down one of their board members for leading that prayer at a high school graduation. Today, though, he says there's plenty of time to defend this member and will defend that member till the end. There is no more clear example today that religious liberty is under assault than what's happening here at Tulsa Public Schools. This was a scene in Tulsa Friday afternoon. Ryan Walters flanked by a few state lawmakers and supporters on one side, protesters on the other. Those protesters at times shouting down the speakers. Walters claims the school board president sent board member Elena Ashley a letter citing numerous complaints about the prayer and telling her it wasn't constitutional. You have a school board member who uses her freedom of expression to say a prayer. And what do you see? You see the radical left who want to shout her down. Walters not laying out a specific plan on how he looks to defend Ashley, but repeating his commitment to fight what he calls a clear lie and misunderstanding of the Constitution. And let me send a message to all the radical leftists in the state of Oklahoma. Not here. We will protect religious liberty in the state of Oklahoma. Opponents at the rally carried signs in support of the separation of church and state, while others called to impeach Walters. And this is not the first time that Ryan Walters has talked about religion or prayer in public school settings. Several times during, me during meetings here at the Board of Education, he has talked about prayer and religion in those settings. But right now, as it stands, there is no statewide policy being implemented or announced yet by the department. Reporting live in Oklahoma City, I'm Andy Weber, KOCO 5 News. All right.